Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel. This week I've got an animation process video for you. I am doing the line art and the colouring for some of an animated map part that I did the rough animation on Krita. Um, and I'm doing the line art and colouring in Clip Studio Paint to try and make it more um, like neat and professional looking. Because um, I really want to get some like more sizzle pieces in my portfolio and some more like professional quality looking pieces so I tried really hard to keep the masses consistent with this one as well as well um, especially because I know that's kind of my weak point um, so yeah what I did was like I exported the file from Krita as a um, image sequence um, and then imported it into Clip Studio and because I only have um, Clip Studio Pro, I'm waiting for the next sale to upgrade to X. Um, I could only do 24 frames at a time. Um, so I worked on the first two second chunk of this one. Um, and it actually took me ages, um, especially the line art. Um, I don't know, I think because usually I kind of rely on the pencil texture of the brush that I usually use, um, I can kind of get away with more. Um, and I usually have a thicker line as well, so it looks more um, smooth with this pencil brush that I use. Um, so yeah, there's lots of redrawing of lines and going back and forth going on with this. Um, also, yeah, because I have a tablet that doesn't have a screen, um, obviously it's harder to do precise inking um, because you can't really see where you're going, it's like muscle memory, so... Um, yeah, there's lots of going back and forth for that, but like, you know, we manage. Um, it was like hundreds of pounds cheaper than a screen tablet and I don't have hundreds of pounds, so uh, that's the one I went with and I'm, I'm pretty happy with my tablet. I'm going to do like a tablet review in the future because uh, it's coming up to mm, probably over, by now it's over a year. Yeah, it's definitely over a year because I bought it before uh, last year's Manga G-Man that I was working on. Um, but it's definitely been like a year and a half, maybe even two years that I've had this tablet and I bought it with my own money. So I thought it might be um, useful for people if I made a review rather than like, I mean, like reviews of tablets from like reviewers are good because they know lots of different uh, tablets, but like it's also like they will be more skewed positive because they got the tablet for free, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, my short review is like, uh, I think I got the Huey on WH, I think it's 140, it was called the Huey on Giano, um, that's it's like a nickname, I guess, um, and short review is, it's great value for money, um, it's definitely worth it to get a tablet with as big a screen as you can, not screen, a uh, drawing surface even, as you can afford, because um, my wrists are doing a lot better than when I was using uh, my Wacom Intuos um, but I think the pen pressure was a lot better on my Intuos so um, yeah and I also had a Wacom Bamboo that I, uh, Bamboo Fun um, that I, I dropped it and the, um, the cable port broke um, uh, but that, that one, I think the pen pressure on that was, um, the pen pressure was better on that one too. Um, but yeah, I do recommend the Giano if you're, if you're doing a lot of drawing and you have no money. <laughs> Basically, if you're anything like me. Um, so yeah, like, uh, the reason I'm doing these lines in Clip Studio Paint is because um, my computer keeps crashing with the vector tool on Krita and I really wanted to try and make some cleaner lines so um, what I did was I imported them and like arranged them in an animation folder um, and then I used vector layer with the 8 point uh, rough, no it's the 8 point dark pencil tool um, for my lines because um, I wanted to try and make it look more like traditional like anime line width um, and that's really hard to um, imitate isn't it actually because um, anime like most anime is still animated on paper even though it's colored digitally um, 
so a lot of them still have like their natural pencil lines and it's just really difficult to recreate that kind of thing um, in uh, Clip Studio. Uh, for me it's really difficult anyway. Um, and then I used 15 point uh, heavier line for Hikaru's eyes because um, they were looking a bit weird. <laughs> so I kind of fudged it with a thicker brush. Um, and I think they look alright in the end. Um, and yeah, so I think it sped up 20 times um, and the end, pro end video is like 11 minutes so it took um, maths break, I think it took like 4 hours or something. Um, yeah, it took me about four four hours. No, longer. Um, I'm just gonna get the calculator. <laughs> Would you believe? Like, I did well at GCSE maths, um, uh, but but it's all gone. That was like eight years ago now, and it's all gone. Eleven times twenty is two hundred twenty divided by sixty is oh. I was not far off. It's like 3.666 uh, hours, it says here. Um, so that's what, uh, that's how long this process took. Um, and yeah, like this is for my Mahona Tobira map. Please check it out if you're in the market for a new map. Um, it's Magical Girl theme. And I wanted to draw Precure because I am obsessed with the new Star Twinkle Precure. Uh, I can't remember I've talked about it on this. Uh, channel before but like when I went to Japan it was like everywhere so I came home and I'm like well let's give it a watch and like I think it's quite a slow starter like Hikaru is a very like vanilla protagonist kind of she's not like in the first episode I wasn't that into it um, but like now I'm like um, I'm 20 episodes in and I cried. Um, they had an episode about her mom is a manga car and I related and then there was an episode about her father and Tanabata and she only sees her father once a year because um, he's working abroad and then like they live with their grandparents and like their grandfather is still disappointed in Hikaru's dad um, even when he's like 40 or something and that just really struck a chord with me because you know my parents still gonna be disappointed in me when I'm like 40. I just feel like coming around the, the old people's home and they'll be like why don't you have a proper job? Um, so that was very bittersweet episode um, but also like it's just really good fun um, I love, I love the character design, I love the villain designs, they're all like kakoi versions of like mythology of like the main villain, he's like a sexy kappa, so I, like like the kappa from Japanese mythology, so he's like just a bishonen but with like a bald head and a giant backpack and green and green skin and it's like the very Team Rocket. Um, I mean it's very much like Pokemon because it's aimed at a similar demographic so um, it's right up my street. Um, and yeah like the like the merchandising is really working on me like you can tell that they have all these like transformation pen, transformation pendant, all the different colour pens and uh, Cure Cosmo recently she's got like a perfume bottle with a little handle that you can twist and it's like you can tell they just have this because they want to make them so kids will want them and like I, I'm a kid I want them definitely um, so it's a good job that I hadn't watched it before I went to Japan otherwise I would come back with like a suitcase full of Precure tat basically <laughs> Um, but I still do really want um, a pen of Cure Stars pen. Um, yeah. 
It it was kind of weird though because like I went to Japan and I was like looking for Pokemon things because that's my jam. But like, like because I guess like the hype train Let's Go came out last year, they're kind of on the back burner a bit while they're like the anime is winding down. Um, they're waiting for the new region in November before like they'll be hyping all that up. But like I was looking for like. Low key looking for a Z ring and couldn't find it. I was looking for like a Pokemon magazine, couldn't find it. So it was really funny. Like I went back to England and I think like Pokemon there's less like competing with it. Um, whereas in Japan there's so many different franchises like Yokai Watch and all that. And Oshiri Tantan was really popular, even though it's like it's literally a butt with a face. I hate it. I hate it. Um, <laughs> it's really popular um, but yeah then I went back home and like in WH Smith get Pokemon magazines for like they're, they're everywhere it's like it's so funny um, so yeah this video is about coming to an end I hope you enjoyed my process and um, yeah like have you been watching Star Trek called Precure? If you're wanting some like light-hearted magical girl action, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and yeah, have a good time until I see you next. Look after yourself. Bye.